and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and this is Jar of Fireflies. Here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of four. And today I'll be taking you all along for a day in my life as I get ready for Shabbat. That's right, folks. Today is Friday, so we are getting ready once again for Shabbat every single week. I love it. It's so great. Okay, so no guests for dinner tonight because... Even though the nights are starting to get earlier, I still just don't want guests at night because I'm so tired by the end of the day, especially on Fridays. So yeah, I, I don't I don't know. We'll see if we end up having guests later this winter for Friday night or not. But for now, I'm kind of thinking no. We do, however, have guests for tomorrow for lunch. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, it feels good to get like back in the groove of having guests for lunch. Like it makes Shabbat feel like Shabbat when we're having guests over. My husband and I love to have guests. The kids love to have guests. Like it's just kind of part of it for us. So anyways, we have guests tomorrow for lunch and I'm excited about that. So my husband has a roast in the oven right now. That's like our main course, I guess, for lunch tomorrow. I'm gonna make some dessert, some brownies. I know Shocker is like my go-to recipe these days. Those little brownie bites with some icing and sprinkles on top. So I'll be making those, probably won't even film it because I feel like that's all I do in these videos lately, and green beans, which again, I've done a whole bunch lately, probably not gonna film it, but I'll show you guys the finished product of everything. There is one other dish that I'm gonna throw in and I will show you guys that later on. So that is something new and exciting. And um, I don't know, I've got a couple of errands that I've got to run today, so I do need to get out and about a little bit. And yeah, we'll just kinda see what is shaking and what is going on today. Before we get too far into today's video though, I wanna give a big thank you to today's sponsor, Fetch Rewards. Y'all have heard me talk about Fetch before. It's an app that I use all the time. So just in case you have missed it though, let me tell you all about it. Fetch Rewards is a super easy to use free app where you earn rewards on literally everything you buy. Scan any receipt or e-receipt and you will earn points for every purchase. Even if you have receipts that are up to two weeks old, you can still scan them to earn points. After you scan, you can redeem those points for hundreds of rewards, including Amazon, Visa, GameStop, Starbucks, and Walmart gift cards. Point redemption start at just 5,000 points. Fetch is 100% free and so easy to use. You can also buy specific partner brands, scan those receipts, and earn even more points. I use Fetch because I can scan my receipt, redeem points, and spend a reward all from my phone in a matter of seconds. It's also really easy to use. You just scan your receipts. The process only takes seconds. You don't have to worry about where the receipt is from or what is on it. You can also click the e-receipt function to get rewarded for online shopping. The app automatically scans your email and finds rewards for you. And there are so many reward options. Your points turn into gift cards from places like Amazon, eBay, Barnes & Noble, and so many more. Earn points from anywhere, any and all retail store, all Amazon purchases, e-receipts, restaurants, gas, anything. Check out the link that I put in the description box and the pinned comment below. Download the app now and use code FIREFLIES to get 5,000 bonus points when you scan your first receipt. This is a limited time offer just for you, my lovely viewers, so make sure you download that app today and get started earning your rewards. And now back to me. But I do have a slightly fussy little baby firefly here, so I'm gonna go feed him and then get on about our day. All right, so I'll check back with you guys here in a few. Well, no sooner did I turn the camera off just now when my oldest came in and asked me if he could do a math lesson. Now, normally we don't do school on Fridays, so this was an unusual request. However, I'm perfectly happy to oblige. So we pulled out a math lesson and got to work. All right, so my son just finished with the lesson part of his math lesson, and now it's time for his lesson practice. All right, kiddo, are you ready? Your lesson practice is hidden in three parts in the living room. So a few minutes ago, I hid them, and here's that. And now he's gonna go find them and then he'll do that. He loves this. And hey, anything to make math fun. Okay, while he's working on that, let's go hide the review exercises.
Okay, so things are kind of happening over here, but I wanted to check in really quick and I'll let you know what is going on. So I've got kids helping me unload the dishwasher right now. Uh, my oldest has finished up his math. He's reading a book right now. My husband is off at work. I just pulled his roast out of the oven, it's, uh, that right there. And then I'm about to get brownies right there in the oven. And uh, yeah, just kind of keep working on stuff. So we're just sort of trekking through our morning here and uh, I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Okay, so I was like rushing around like crazy. It was kind of like this whole like power hour of getting all the things done in the kitchen, getting things cleaned up, getting the kids doing their chores, uh, starting to get things like the green beans put together and the brownies made and, and I, then baby Firefly woke up and I was like, oh, that's why I was rushing around feeling like a chicken with my head cut off because I actually had time and the ability to get things done. So anyways, he woke up, <laughs> he's back out now, got him all wrapped up and of course he's back to sleep now. Uh, so, but I am wearing him now and that's cool. I'll put him down probably later for a nap. We'll try at least, but for now he's on me. So I'm glad that I got most of that work done and things are going good. Also, my husband just called, he's bringing lunch home. So I am superbly stoked about that because I was kind of at a loss about what to make the kids for lunch today. So that's taken care of now. And that's it. That's where we are. <laughs> So I'm going to get back to it and I will check back with you guys here in a bit. In all honesty, by the time I'm filming this voiceover, I'm not sure where baby Firefly is, either with my husband or in the swing, one or the other, but I am not holding a baby, so back to the kitchen I go. I went to work straight away, finishing up putting the frosting and sprinkles on our brownie bites there for our Shabbat lunch dessert, and then put my dishes away, wash my hands, and go to check on the green beans in the oven. And they finally look pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and pull those out now. Again, I don't really do a timer when I do these roasted vegetables. I just kind of put them in until they look good to me. But here's everything. I'm feeling pretty accomplished having these two dishes done already, but there is still one more that I want to get to today. Okay, so I'm filling out my challah for tonight. And I did a recent video where I showed you how I make this challah, the gluten challah. And I got asked the same question over and over again, so I thought I'd go ahead and address it real quick here now for you. And I was asked over and over again in that video, do we eat challah only on Shabbat or can we eat it other days? And the answer is yes and yes. But yes, we eat it only on Shabbat. And yes, we can eat it other days. We'll eat leftovers after Shabbat, but I wouldn't pull out like a fresh loaf or anything to eat during the week. So part of that is because it does take a lot of time to make. I don't have time to bake bread for us to eat during the week. And the other part of that is that Shabbat is special and we want to keep it special. And so ways that we do that is by wearing special clothes that we only wear on Shabbat or by eating special foods that we're only eating on Shabbat. And one of those is our challah. So that is that. Okay, now let's get working on one more dish for lunch. All right, I have got some barracas. So I'm gonna do the rest of this in a voiceover because this one is being a little bit of fussy and I have the hiccups and things are beeping and just it's too much noise. So let's make some of these barracas. So barrecas are basically, it's a like puff pastry with something inside. And these being potato barrecas have potato inside, kind of like a mashed potato to be specific. 
We used to make these a lot for Shabbat, almost every Shabbat before our house went gluten-free. And so we just haven't really had brekkas in a really long time. So then we found these last Passover gluten-free at one of the local kosher stores and we grabbed all they had left, which was only two, but we took what we could get. However, we never got around to actually making them. So we're making them today, gluten-free brekkas. I'm really excited to try these and see if they are good, but more than that, I'm just really excited to have them on our Shabbat table tomorrow. Now, you may have noticed that the package was in another language. It was all in Hebrew. And I do not read Hebrew that well, and I certainly don't speak it that well. So I had to text my husband a picture of the directions and ask him all the questions, and he gave me all the answers. And before you ask why I didn't just change the temperature of the oven, it's because I was feeding the baby and my husband knew that, so I was not able to just pop up and change the oven right there. Anyhow, after feeding Baby Firefly, uh, I came back into the kitchen and started kind of wrapping and packaging everything up just so things wouldn't be sitting out until tomorrow when we needed to eat everything. I wanted to go ahead and wrap up the dessert so that that would be nice and fresh for tomorrow. For the green beans, I transferred them into this glass baking dish because I'll be able to put this dish right on our hot plate tomorrow to warm up these green beans for our meal there at lunch. And it's pretty, like it can go straight from the hot plate to the table, no problem. I won't have to put these in another container if I don't want to. Then I'm just popping some foil on top of that because plastic wrap would melt on our hot plate and we don't want that, so foil it is. And I'm just gonna put this here on the stove top because the stove is cool until I can put that into the refrigerator to save till tomorrow. Last in meal prep here, I am taking the challah that I pulled out of the freezer earlier. It's nice and thawed now, and I'm just wrapping that up in the foil so that we can warm those up on our hot plate for this evening's meal. And then the bread will be nice and warm and taste like it just came out of the oven, which is the absolute best. So then I'm wrapping up the gluten ones as well. And just those I'll just leave out. I don't need to put those anywhere else, but just wrapping them up so they can go on the hot plate. So I went in to check on those barracas a few times and they were finally ready to come out and here is what they look like. Okay, so we're pretty much ready for Shabbat right now, and we still have like a solid hour before Shabbat starts, which means a couple of things. One, we're relaxed, and that is good because last Shabbat was a little bit hectic, and by about this time, I was probably close to tears. And number two is we can take in Shabbat early. I can light my candles early, we can start early, and just have a little bit longer Shabbat. So that is also a super huge perk of this. So. What I'm going to do now is just walk around and make sure that everything is as it should be. The lights I went on are on, the lights I went off are off, light switch covers are on light switches so we don't accidentally turn those on and off. 
uh, the oven is turned off, things like that. So I'm gonna go and kind of double check all of those and then we'll probably come in and light our candles here in a few. But before I go do all of that, I wanna just say thank you so much for watching today. As always, I super appreciate you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It would mean so much to me and it helps my channel out a lot, as do your comments. So please drop me a comment down below and let me know how your day is going. Let's get that conversation started. And of course, please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. I would absolutely love to see you here again. And last but not least, don't forget to check out that information in the description box below and in my pinned comment about Fetch Rewards. Download that app, use my code Fireflies, get 5,000 bonus points when you scan your first receipts. All right, and with that, we're gonna call this video a close. Thank you all so much for being here today. As always, I super appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload. Or can we eat it other days? <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to do the rest of this in a voiceover because this one is... Alright, so I'm going to do the rest... Because I'm having all the distractions.